and welcome back to the Wind Native Chronicles. We've got a little project to do today and uh, it's going to be something that I'm a little hesitant to do. I have this Remington Mall uh, XP100 handgun here that I've been using for many years for silhouette shooting and this one is chambered for uh, 7mm bench rest Remington and many years ago I made the stock for this gun from scratch I just started with a uh, square block of cherry wood and uh, never really haven't done much for making a stock before I uh, was quite happy to have uh, made this uh, actually did a good job with it uh, took me about 300 hours but I just kind of chugged away at it and learned as I went and uh, wound up with this and I've been using this gun now for oh since the mid 80s uh, so you know around 30 years or so and uh, it's given me good use but the finish on the stock has started to go a little bit bad and I, uh, I think it might be partly my own doing because I didn't leave well enough alone. I originally I uh, did this stock with, uh, kind of show you a little closer, I finished it with tongue oil, did a really good job with that and, and it looked really nice and then one day I decided, you know, maybe I should put some of this true oil on this gun and uh, just seal it up a little bit, give it a little bit of gloss, but it was actually beautiful before. I put the true oil on it and it did look nice and I'm not that... Uh, sad that I did it but over the years I've started getting some little ripples of that oil for some reason it's like almost like it just wears and it just uh, bubbled a little bit I'm trying to show you with some of these close-up uh, photographs of it and uh, it's uh, appeared in various places around the edges mostly and where my hand uh, gives wear things like that so you know, this this uh, gun is so precious to me that anything I do to it, I want to be really careful that I don't wreck it. Uh, it's shown its signs of wear here and there, but but still, it's uh, the stock is still beautiful. I've shaped it and reshaped it and got this thing fit in my hand just so perfectly. It's uh, it's one of my real prized possessions. But uh, I wanted to get rid of that bubbling on there without destroying the finish and without redoing it from scratch because, uh, you know, I don't want to go too far. I could live with that little bit of bubbling, but it just kind of bugs me. And I, so I asked on a gunsmithing forum, showed some close-up photos to some guys, and they said, you know, what do you, what would you do with this? And uh, the best advice I got was to use some uh, pumice powder with a bit of oil. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this before, but I couldn't find any. It took me about two months to get this stuff in. And uh, so I brought, bought myself some 4F fine grade pumice powder. And uh, when I look at the instructions for it, it does appear to be used for this purpose. Like the guys told me, just take a bit of this with some oil and rub it with your finger, not too much. And just enough to get that bubbling out and see that's, that could fix that stock up real nicely. So I'm going to give this procedure a, a try here and I sure hope it works. So the, uh, uh, kind of read the instructions over, thought about this for a while. I think I'll take the action off the stock and I'll sit down and I'll try my hand at this. Let's see how this works. It might be a useful thing for you to consider as well if you're ever wanting to refinish a portion of a stock on one of your guns. So this could be a good learning experience. Let's see how this works. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to get this stock off. So I've got my a little bit here with the universal joint 
frame so in order to get it out it's a bit of a it's a skin tight fit there we go there got her loosened off now let's see is that gonna work there we go okay so got the the ashing out See that's how the action is on these XP 100s. It's got that trigger mounted way forward, and this is the inletting in the stock. I'll tell you that was a lot of work to make that, <laughs> but uh, just bit by bit, I have a little bit of lead. Uh, embedded into the forearm. That was to keep the muzzle flipped down a little bit. Actually even the uh, handle is drilled out and to reduce weight there. The whole gun was for competition so I had to make weight. A lot of fiddling around. But okay so now we got the stock off. We can move on to the next step. Okay so I've got my pumice powder and I've got some true oil here. As the instructions show, I'll, I'll show you a brief screenshot of the instructions for this pumice powder and also with the uh, linseed oil that you can freeze frame and read if you like. But as the instructions state with the pumice oil uh, or the pumice powder, uh, you should rub it on there. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of this into this little bowl here. I think that'll probably work best. I'm going to do this, apply this with my finger. And as I've been told, the best way to do this is to uh, use it with a bit of oil and some pumice powder and I'm going to just gently rub this. Now, how well that's going to work remains to be seen, eh? So, uh, I'm going to have to be very careful that I don't dig into that wood too much. And I think if I just, you know, grab myself a paper tunnel here to avoid my hands as I, as I apply this stuff. But I think if I wet my finger in this oil, then I should be able to pick up a bit of that pumice powder. Just take this, I'm right, pick up a bit of that, oh yeah, yeah. okay, well we'll see, it's, uh, you don't want to burn through by, by running out of the oil on it, that's what I'm told anyways, scratch that bubble off with my finger, maybe it's, yeah, I got some, oh yeah, yeah, okay, maybe I can scratch it a little bit gently with my finger, get those bubbles off there, let's uh, uh, try a little bit more, yes, a little bit here too, Get some of that oil in. Right there. Okay, let's see. Clean that off again. Let's see what we got. You know, if that works good, do other parts of the gun. Taking some shots of the other 
areas of the gun. I can kind of compare this with before and after. I'm going to let this dry a little bit. It doesn't look too bad. You can see there's some little ripples right along there too. Could take those off, but I think I'm going to just wait and see what happens with this area first after the wood is dry. So that might be the best thing to do. Got some before and after pictures. I'll take a picture of this once it dries and uh, compare it to uh, what the uh, original picture looked like, what the original uh, surface looked like before applying the pumice powder. So that's uh, stage one, anyways, and we'll uh, we'll see where we where we go from here. It's uh, it's a ticklish process, like I say, I'm a bit nervous about doing this. But I think it's something that I should be able to do. So let's uh, give this a little bit of a rest here. Okay, I've uh, finished my first exploratory session, I guess you could call it. And I've let the uh, stock dry for, for a day. And uh, I just wanted to see what kind of a difference it would make how it would look uh, once the oil is dried and I can see that uh, that it's matching in quite well with the, with the wood hasn't made it worse which is always good and uh, I believe it has made it a little bit better and that fine pumice stone really does uh, produce quite a smooth finish not as smooth as the finish was before I would say but I think uh, maybe just a straight application of linseed oil over it might help that too so uh, it's it's looking good and now that I am not so afraid of doing damage to the, the stock I'm gonna um, proceed with covering a little bit more areas on this I'm gonna take this some of the wrinkles out of this area I'm gonna work this area a little bit more here and uh, I think I'll move down onto uh, this area here, here a little bit and we'll see uh, how well this goes. So, uh, so far, so good. Uh, I'm going to try to get this stock as good as can be done uh, with a little more assurance now that I won't be making a big mistake that I can't correct later on. Oh, let's uh, let's go on from here and see how far we can get, how good we can get. Is the real question. Proceed on. I've got my bit of pumice stone here, and I've got my true oil, and I'm gonna just wet my finger a little bit. A little bit of stuff and start working on these rough areas a bit. And I'm gonna work this area some more too. And I think when it comes to this linseed oil, there may be an effect of softening the uh, those little ripples of the old finish as I apply some uh, some of this linseed oil onto it or the true oil so I'm kind of it's a, it's a bit of an uphill struggle to take off these ridges and I'm tempted to go scratching with my fingernail. Maybe as it gets softer, I'll do that more. Uh, but uh, I think it has been working to an extent. So, see what I'm doing here. Keeping that surface moist. And I'm going to try to remove some of this ridge in here well pumice okay, so what I'm, what I'm trying to do 
I'm going to break down some of that buildup of the of the old finish. I can feel there's some little ridges there. I'm scraping a little bit with my fingernail to get those ridges off. do here. Yeah, there's a ridge of it right there. So I'm just going to pause the camera and I'll just work on this for a bit. I uh, just wiped off the oil and powder from this portion here and I think you can see from here that it's has removed a lot of those ripples. It's actually uh, Turning out very good. It's, you can, I'll can maybe show a picture of before and after uh, what it, this part of the gun stock looked like before, and it's uh, substantially improved. In fact, I've taken those ripples of the old finish right out of it just by doing what I just did there. So uh, this is looking actually very successful. I've just wiped off the oil just so I can get a look at what's going on there. And that's something that you want to do is just work it a bit, wipe the oil off, use really good strong light, uh, you wear glasses if you need to, like I am, and uh, uh, so you can see in pretty good detail what's happening to the finish of the gun so you don't go too far. So I'm going to just continue work on this and let's see uh, how some of the other areas turn out. Okay, now that I've finished with the as much of the uh, pumice stone polishing that I can, I uh, applied a very thin rub of, of true oil to the to the gun, and I wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like before and after and maybe I'll put in a, a shot of it a close inspection once the oil is dried and get a, a final analysis of how successful this was well it looks like we finished this project I let the linseed oil dry on the gun and Took a look at it afterwards, put a little bit of double O's steel wool over the uh, finish after letting it dry thoroughly. I actually let it dry for two days. And I have to say that I'm very pleased with the end result of this. So I'm just kind of showing you here now what, what the gun looks like when it's done. But what I'll do is I'll show you some after photos, uh, videos to give you a better idea. But before I do that, I just want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you also for supporting this channel. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Keeps these videos going. Click the notification bell as well. And uh, as we uh, ease out of this, I'll show you some slow photos of this finished stock. So you can see what we accomplished. Thanks again. And this is... So long for the weight of Native Chronicles. God bless.